We're now going to look at an example of a takeoff from an airport that is not at sea level. So in this example, we're going to take off from an airport at 2,000 feet, not from sea level, but from 2,000 feet to a cruising altitude of 10,000 feet where the outside air temperature is expected to be minus 12 degrees Celsius. And how this example will differ from the first one? Well, the first example, we had assumed that we would take off from an airport at sea level to a cruise pressure altitude of 10,000 feet. And I'll explain how that previous example will work into this one in a little bit. But for now, we are going to do the time, fuel, and distance for an example that hypothetically would take off at sea level and climb to the airport pressure altitude of 2,000 feet. So it's not intuitive at first. Uh, you might be asking, well, aren't we taking off from 2,000 feet? Why, why are we assuming that we are taking off at sea level and then climbing to 2,000 feet? Well, the answer is simple. We're going to find out what this time, fuel, and distance are. And later on, we're going to subtract this value from the example where we had taken off from mean sea level and climbed to a cruise pressure altitude of 10,000 feet. How does that work? We'll assume that an aircraft takes off from X and climbs to Y. And it would take a certain time fuel and cover a certain distance Oops. from X to Y. Now, if X was mean sea level, making that assumption, and we decided to have an intermediate point here which we will call Z or Z depending where you're from. An aircraft that takes off from mean sea level and climbs to Y the time, fuel, and distance that it takes from X climbing all the way to Z would be the same as an aircraft taking off from mean sea level to Z. So an aircraft that wants to stop here versus one that wants to continue all the way, well, this first part of the journey would be the same. So what we're going to do later on is we're going to take this value and subtract it from that value. And then we would get the values for an airport at Z. It climbs all the way up to Y. So we're actually doing two separate calculations, both from mean sea level, and we're subtracting the smaller one from the larger one. So let's get back to our example and get the first stage of this process done. Given initial takeoff mass of 3650 pounds, OAT at 30 degrees Celsius, and airport pressure altitude at 2000 feet, we're going to assume that actually there's a level below this, and that is sea level. So we're going to assume that our airport pressure altitude is a cruise altitude. So we will plan to climb from sea level to 2000 feet, where the outside air temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. Let's do that now. We enter the chart from the scale that says outside air temperature and we know at 2000 feet our outside air temperature is 30 degrees Celsius and that's positive 30 degrees Celsius so I'm going to plot a line 30 all the way to meet 2000 feet. Then I'm going to go across the chart to the lines that represent initial mass. And then we'll go down the chart to meet the scale for time, fuel, and distance. We should ideally be using a pen with a finer tip or a pencil with a finer tip, uh, but I'm doing this for illustration, so I want the lines to show up quite clearly. Um, you can see that 
we are having some difficulty because this line that we've plot it's quite thick so there could be some error in the estimate again uh, this is just for illustration ideally you would use a mechanical pencil because it's got a finer tip so climbing from sea level to an altitude of 2000 feet with a maximum takeoff mass of 3650 pounds takes us 2.5 minutes 1.1 gallons of fuel and covers a still air distance of 6 nautical miles now if we were to compare this with our initial or our first example where we climbed from mean sea level to an altitude of 10,000 feet which happens to be uh, the same target cruise altitude as this example well we saw there that the time to climb from sea level to 10,000 feet was 13 minutes and took 4.6 gallons of fuel and covered a distance of 27 nautical miles so the time to climb then if we wanted to climb from an airport at 2,000 feet to a cruise altitude of 10,000 feet would be the difference between these two so 13 minutes minus 2.5 minutes will get me the time to climb from 2,000 feet to 10,000 feet uh, the amount of fuel that we would take to climb from 2,000 to 10,000 feet would be 4.6 gallons minus 1.1 gallons and the distance to climb would be 27 nautical miles minus 6 nautical miles And if we did the math, we get a time to climb of 10 and a half minutes, fuel to climb of 3.5 gallons, and distance to climb of 21 nautical miles. And it's that simple.